Salutations, Cosmonaut. The pilot of the stolen Hope Tech ship is named Grace Early, and she spends time at Madame Savage's in Neon. I need to find out what she knows about the first. Let's go check out this Grace Early. All right, so who's coming with me? Just you, Sammy? I guess, no, maybe Price too. So me, Price, and Sammy. Just us boys. Just wondering where this uh, quest is gonna go. There we go, this is us. Look at all those lights. Hey guys. Madame Sauvage. Oh, that must be her over here. Have you been to the Astro? You Grace. Borealis. A free star ranger. And his what are you? A sidekick or something? Talk to me or price. I'm Free Star Ranger Deputy Boda. Well, I'm sure your mom is real proud. I don't know my mom. So how come I'm talking to the sidekick instead of the ranger? I'm not the sidekick. This what? is the deputy's case. Is that so? And you had to bring backup just for little old me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Anyway, this ain't my first interrogation, so let's just get on with it. This is starting to reek of, like, um, the latest Marvel movie sort of dialogue. I, it just hit me. I don't know how I feel about that. Please, I just need some information. I could. Oh, please, please, not that. There's no need to make this difficult. You're in trouble, Grace. You better start taking this seriously. Bad run-ins with the law before? A time or two, maybe more. And yet here I am, walking free. All right, well, you're in trouble, Grace. You better start taking this seriously. Oh, I'm listening with rapt attention, Deputy. I'm guessing this is the part where you tell me that you've got questions and that you expect me to answer them. That sound about right? You forgot about the part that I'm tempted to put a bullet in your head. I know you stole the ship, but people might be in danger and need your help. Don't play games. I know you stole the ship, and you're going to tell me why. You jacked a uh, ship from Hope Tech. Fine. All the yes. same. I jacked the ship. But look, I was just a contractor. I didn't even keep the ship. I gave it to some men. It was just a quick, clean job. I made sure nobody got hurt. Hmm. Well, those men tried to run the farmer off her land. Why are we telling her this? This... this exchanged kind of doesn't make sense there are mercenaries who threaten a woman to get her uh to get her farm you but yeah okay here we go you provide the means for mercenaries to intimidate threaten an innocent person look they didn't tell me what they were going to do how was i supposed to know they were going to go after some farmer you should have asked when you took the contract if that woman had been killed you'd be an accessory to murder did you think about no that? she wouldn't i no yeah I, this doesn't make sense i guess i didn't yeah. And now small talk to me what you know. It's still, still time to make things right. Please help me. I can lock you up for... Nah, let's just persuade. No small talk. It, it's not that simple. Oh, you don't seem to understand. I need this information now. What's the harm if you tell me? I'm not leaving it until you tell me what I want to know. This this, this this, doesn't sound like anything that a uh, deputy would say. I'm going to say this one. I do understand. I'm trying to figure out a way to help you, okay? Alright. Well, you need to tell me what you know. Nice try, but no. <laughs> I figured, all right. Are you trying to tick me off? Come on. Don't be that way. There we go. No deals until I get some answers. If I find out you lied, I'll hunt you down. No deals until I get some answers. All right, fine. I was approached by a woman named Maya Cruz. Said she was a senior member of the first and that she had a job for me. She was working with someone inside Hope Tech and pitched me on the idea of jacking a ship right out of the factory. We were deep into planning the job when she had some kind of medical emergency. She said she needed surgery and would be in recovery for a long time. That was a few weeks ago. Haven't heard from her since. Maya Cruz. All right, go on. Did she say where she was being treated? Did Maya say why the first needed the Hope Tech ship? All right, did she say where, uh, where she was being treated? No, but it sounded serious. She was upset. Seemed kind of shaken, you know? Didn't seem right I should pry, so I didn't. All right, go on. Not long after that, I got a message from a guy named Marco. He said he was the money man for the first, and he offered half up front. Never met him directly, though. It was always through intermediaries and using encrypted slates. Got the feeling he was paranoid as hell. Do you have one of those encrypted slates on you right now? Yeah. Here, take it. I'm done with all this. Anything else you want to know? We just gotta let her go. 
Uh, that's all I need. I think we're done here. Did anyone in the first give you a way to contact them? No. Nothing at all. Left me feeling a little disappointed, given how well they paid me. Alright, what do you know about the men that you delivered the ship to? Nothing, really. I was told when and where to meet them. They paid me what I was owed, and that was it. Hmm. I think we're done here, I guess. Works for me. Next time you're at the Rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shadid. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone can crack that slate, it'll be him. I'm gonna head back. Good luck, Deputy. Then I'm free to go. Free, if you promise. <laughs> yeah, promise me. Give me your wood. Yeah, but if you so much as... Whatever, man. You're free. Thanks for your help. Oh. Uh... You're welcome? Guess I ain't used to the law being so polite. Hmm. Yeah, certain things are starting to dawn to, uh, on me about this game. Not that the shininess and the newness of it hey. is starting to wear off. I'm starting to see just how mediocre, if not just downright bad, some of the writing is, man. I guess we're going back to Aquila. Go to Aquila City. I guess we could turn in that, um... That, that smuggled, that smuggled goods, that, that contraband for what's-his-face. Sood? What was his name? I don't remember. I forgot to repair my ship, man. And that's it. Enjoy that Aquila City Air. Alright, so we gotta find Shadid, but first I wanna turn in this uh, stuff. The Aquila Run Smugglers. Where's this guy at? I might as well just follow the marker because we don't have a map. Oh, let me hit up the ship guy and fix my ship. Doris has been limping for a while now. Right, so this guy's uh, gonna be in the trade authority, right? So at least we'll know where that is now. And I have my own contraband I need to sell. Or not. Okay. Yeah. What? Or sorry, I thought you were someone else. I am someone else. I'm trying to talk to you. Ah, so you're the delivery person. Well, here's your payment. Can I arrest him? Oh no. This never happened. Eight thousand credits, little experience. I'd like to arrest him. This was another under undercover sting. There wouldn't be a settled systems without the trade authority. Well, where is the trade authority? Is this the trade authority? Star at house. Okay. Is this a Laredo gun? Yeah, it says it right there. Cool. What do I call this place? The Rock. You know, I think my frame rate is actually dipping here. This doesn't feel per uh, day, doesn't feel smooth. I feel like I'm dipping below 60, I don't know though. Be nice if I had DLSS. I know there's a mod, maybe I'll install it. Alright, so Zadid? He's up there. Was he the bartender? No, he wasn't. A year or two back, I should have drink with Ron Hope. That man can drink. She shared a drink with Ron Hope. How special. Work hard. Found you. This is guy that was the big some dust wrangler on Montara Luna. Okay. He was the one that's been set up by what's you. her name? Hey, I wondered when you might come by. I'm Alex. Didn't I already talk to you? His report said you were heading for Neon. I've always wanted to go there. What did you think? I think Neon is the bee's knees, man. That's my kind of place. Yeah, didn't really care. I'm not here to make small talk. What's stopping you from traveling to Neon? Oh, I can't fly anywhere. Issues with my Eustachian tubes. Oh my. Being in a pressurized environment is like someone taking a laser cutter to the sides of my head. It's not great. But at least I can pretend to visit the party capital of the galaxy by having you tell me about it. Alright, well, that's my kind of place. Yeah, I bet. 
It just sounds so exciting and so stimulating. Probably makes Aquila City look like the more boring backwater town in the settled systems by comparison. <laughs> Alas, I'll have to experience it vicariously through you and the other rangers. So how'd it go? Turn up anything useful? So how do you get anything done if you're like isolated to here? All right, I need your help with this. Ranger Price says you can crack this. I want this late unlocked as soon as possible. Let's go with the first option. Oh, come to daddy, my sweet so we, little mystery. We had three choices that were basically the same choice. Coffee and late nights ahead. Now, if you get any more of these, bring them to me. It helps if I can compare different instances of the encryption they're using. Just look for me up here. I have no life, so I'm not usually hard to find. Okay, so I gave it to him, and you just unlocked him. More fetch quests for him? Uh, you don't get out much, do you? How long will it take you to break the encryption? It'll take as long as it takes. You can't rush a job like this. I'm asking for a rough estimate. One thing I can promise you, though, is that it'll go a lot faster if I don't have to answer silly questions. And that's out of character from what we learned from this guy, because this guy is super chatty. He likes to chat people up, but then now he's not so chatty. Yeah, that makes sense, right? Well, I'm counting on you, Alex. You're counting on me. You know I outrank you, right? Please and thank you go a long way when addressing your betters, rookie. Yeah, it's like I'm talking to two different people here. I don't like you now. I don't like duplicitous people. It's really an honor. Uh, so we're being told to talk to this guy, Daniel Blake. My, Blake. my investigation into first activities continues. I delivered the slate to this guy on Neon. Uh, for analysis, now the marshal wants to see me. How do I know he wants to see me? No one told me. I guess I'm psychic now. I don't know why I'm... I don't know what it is. Why do I feel so critical of the game all of a sudden? I just started playing the game and now it's like, hmm, interesting. I need a word. Welcome back. We'll have two words. Any luck finding out who stole that ship from Hope Tech? Yeah, and I just let her go. I was able to track down a thief with uh, Ranger Price's help. I did, yeah. She was a shipjacker named Grace Early. Yeah, but I did all of the work. Alright, let's go with this one. Grace Early? Yeah, I've heard the name once or twice. Sounds like you're making real progress. Okay, thanks. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Thank me when I've taken down the first. Yeah, I, I'm just going to ask for a promotion just because. Nah, uh, ah. Thank me when I'm done more. Good. Stay focused on the task at hand and don't take your eye off the target. That's how a ranger should think. What did you learn from the starship thief? I scored big time. Got the names of two high ranking first members, Maya Cruz and Marco. The first has, money, has a money man named Marco and also someone named Maya Cruz. Not much, just a couple names. Marco handles the money and there's Maya Cruz. I guess the approach is, is I could uh, overblow my accomplishments or just state the facts. I'm gonna go with this one. The first has a money man. Yeah, this one. Now we're getting somewhere. Sounds like you've got a couple of new leads to follow up on. I have a guess who Marco might be. We'll spill I it. served with Maya Cruz. She's a technical genius and an expert hacker. I could give you some background if you want it, or we can go straight to planning your next move. Uh, what else can you tell me about her then? They said she was a child prodigy, which probably explains her arrogance. Even so, she was fiercely loyal to Major Hull. I don't think she'd ever give him up. If you find her, don't expect her to cooperate. Alright. And you think you know who Marco is? There was a mech driver in the 1st Cavalry named Marco Graziani. He came from money. And when the 1st Cav got a reputation as the top unit, he transferred in. Rumor was that bribes made it happen. Marco had a knack for getting hold of anything we needed. There was talk, the family fortune came from smuggling. And I believe it. He had this dream to become a wealthy businessman when he got out. But I guess that got put on hold when they locked him up. All right. The clock's ticking. Let's talk about what's next. I need some information to track them down. Like what? Like where? <laughs> uh, where would someone go for a long-term medical treatment? Most likely place would be the clinic. It's in Freestar Collective Space and provides the best medical services credits can buy. Now we know why that wing was locked. They also locked. guarantee privacy. So it's an ideal place for someone trying to keep a low profile. Ranger Ben Armistead has posted there. I'll send him an update on the situation. 
Ben Armistead. All right, Marco's keeping his location secret. How can I find him? Around the time he got out of jail, we started hearing Marco's name in circulation. Word is he's heading up a smuggling rack. Based on what you've learned, I presume he's funneling his ill-gotten gains to the first. Ranger Autumn McMillan is out at Red Mile right now, looking into the smuggling operation. I suggest you pool your resources. Uh, just remember, that's outside Freestar Collective Space, so we've got no jurisdiction there. All right, well, that's enough to go on, I guess. Your priority is to gather more intel about the first. What are they planning? Who are they working for? Where are they headquartered? Just remember that your targets were locked up because they were loyal to their unit. They think the Freestar Collective betrayed them. In other words, you ain't gonna get a warm welcome. So be careful. Good hunting, Deputy. I would like to know why they feel like they were betrayed. Didn't he want to say something to me? I hope Cora doesn't get too much underfoot. No. Next time. Uh, we're not gonna go to the Red Mile, we're gonna go to the clinic. And that's in the, the same star system. No, it's in the Narion system. Hey, what can I do for you? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, that's the guy. Mr. Scotty, I need some information. I usually have to deal with is folks work. Yeah? Got some trouble? Oh, now hold on a minute. You're the new deputy, ain't you? Yep. You know, the Marshal's been sending out reports, keeping us all in the loop in your investigation. Alright, great. That'll save us both some time. Then you know I'm tracking down members of the first good, because I don't want to waste time. Or, what does he say about me? I'm so insecure. Then you know I'm tracking down members of the first. And having some success, by the sound of it. Ben Armistead, pleased to meet you. You've already met. Well, I guess that's the long and short of it. You're the newest member of the Rangers? And I'm the oldest. Are you really? So, is one of them first mercenaries here at the clinic? Quite possibly. She has some kind of urgent uh, medical issue, so I'm confident she's here. Might be she needed surgery, but I'm not sure why. Well, I think you made the right decision to come here. No better place in the settled systems to get medical treatment. <laughs> you can bet it beats anything them UC piglets got. Ironic. Given they're the ones who built it. I know just the man who can help you. Right this way, deputy. I'd like to know more about why... Just between you and me, I ain't entirely sure why someone felt the need to station a ranger out here. I'm not much more than a glorified bodyguard for Dr. Darvish. She's the one in charge around here. And she's also on the Council of Governors. Most of the staff don't seem fond Dr. of the Dr. Cartwright in Aquila City said I was and crazy I when I told her I wanted back. to transfer here. Bunch of stuffy eggheads, if you ask me. Except Ari, that is. He's about the only one I can have a conversation with. Now, hey there, Ari. Working hard or hardly working? <laughs> hey, Chief. A little more of the former than the latter. What brings you by? Well, the deputy here could use some help. Came looking for someone who might be a patient. I'll see what I can do. Well, I'll leave you in Mr. Miller's capable hands. You need anything else, I'll be in my office. Alright, thank you, Ben. I would like to know why the Free Star Collective hates the UC other than the Colonial War, which is obvious. It's like, what were the main differences? You know, it's obviously a cultural thing. I'd like to know a little bit more about that. I'll try to help you, but our computer systems have been having some issues. Okay, interesting. The person I'm tracking is a is a computer expert. Uh, just do the best you can. I need need uh, what's causing the issues. The patient records database is acting up. Access is a lot slower than normal, and I have no idea why. I'll look into it later. For now, let's focus on your investigation. All right. All right, just do the best you can. I wish some of the doctors around here were as patient as you. So, who's the suspect you're after? Former soldier named Maya Cruz. Do I need to tell him she's a former soldier? Ruthless mercenary? No, her name is Maya Cruz. Hmm. The name's not ringing any bells, but... Maybe we can approach this another way. Do you know what was wrong with her? 
Yeah, a little bit. It was medical emergency that required long-term care. Okay. No, not really. I only know it's required a long hospital stay and sounded pretty urgent. Same answer. Who cares? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, a little bit. It was medical emergency that required long-term care. That should help narrow things down. I can access the patient records from my terminal. Assuming the database cooperates. Come on. Okay, so I get to follow another NPC. Did they explain why this place is so heavily fortified and protected oh. like this? Okay, never give want to me end up just a, a minute here. Place. Maya Cruz. Cool that we're actually seeing Maya something Cruz. on the monitor. Come on, Maya. I need you to be in it. Okay, finally. Here we go. Oh. No matches found. She's in there. Maya I already know. Come on, man. Hello? If Maya's here, then she's got to be using an alias. No doubt. Which actually makes a lot of sense if she's a wanted woman. Well, there must be someone who fits her description, at least partially. So it's a dead end. We give up. We just give up. Tampered with. We have, that's the best you could do. And I'm better off. Man. No, there must be someone who fits her description, at least partially. Yeah. Let me think for a second. All right, hang on. I know that we do have a few female patients staying with us. Alter 50 50. There's Candace. What's her last name? Doolin. Candace Doolin. And then there's the Nakamori woman. I think her name's Jane. I don't recall offhand what they're here for, but it's a start. Well, Doolin sounds like someone that'd be part of like the first whatever. Security. If I could find a source of computer issues, that might lead to Maya. I guess that's true. I'll talk to the patients. That's not much to go on. Those are the only two you can remember? Off the top of my head, yeah. That being said, we don't usually have a lot of patients staying here at any one point in time. Most people can't afford it. So you didn't need a computer to actually tell me all this then? If I could find a social computer issue, that might lead to the problem. You're welcome me to use mail. the Ranger Station Terminal. I'll enable admin access for you. I appreciate it. Or I could talk to these people. Search for a source of that. Candace, Jane... And system disruption. Maybe I should have just gone to a king of the city. And why is it this computer? Oh well, whatever. Admin access. Please select the task. Active processes. This is the native Okay. Curry, disrupt MK4. Gain entry to the VIP wing. Hi, it is recommended this process be disabled immediately. I thought I was looking for um something that was causing problems, but instead I just gained access. That works for me, I guess. Resource monitor. No issues detected. Maintenance. Last maintenance performed this. That's it. Security incidents. Uh, Dr. Cassidy claimed that the patient in VIP wing became confrontational, threatened violence when he tried to administer medication. I spoke to the patient, Catalina Rivera, and calmed her down. Nurse administered filed a report. Patient in VIP was found in an off-limits area. Okay. Advert to Catalina Rive uh, Rivera. The patient filed a complaint and insisted on speaking to security about a lack of personalized attention to inform us that her symptoms were not being taken seriously enough. Alright, do I still get the choice of talking to these people? Gain entry in the VIP wing. I guess I don't have to talk to the other people then. And she's not going to just let me go. Well, he just not like going to let me go that way. This ship doesn't end soon. Where man is not? Okay. I think this is about as far as I explored in this area, Dr. Cassidy. Okay, why did the quest marker lead me to here? Alright. Maybe I gotta get into her computer? No? Very interesting, but since there's a safe here, I'm gonna take it. Alright, VIP oh, key wing. Key wing, whatever. I can talk to Catalina Rivera. Alright, now I've access to the wing. I knew we'd be back here to do this. What about that other door? That's the secure wing, I guess that's different. Open sesame. So this is the VIP wing, huh? 
Hope they don't keep people out here, or they're just using this hallway as storage. All right, someone's dead. Huh? What was that? That'd be a turret. Where did I come from? I came from over here. What are you doing in this room, Sam? That'd be stealing, I guess. Anyone hiding in the bathroom? <laughs> There's a superstition you see amongst rangers. You gotta jump over the threshold of doors or else you'll break your mama's back. Sam's a little too excited jumping over everything. That's the VIP dock. Interesting. Search for clues. I bet someone left mines in here, man. <laughs> Where'd they get the mines? So the clues gonna be in the computer, right? I mean, it's obvious. Oh, here's a slate. Urgent! Read immediately! Maya, the rangers, are on, the rangers are on to us. They're gonna find you. And when they do, an alias won't protect you. The best bet is to hunker down somewhere safe. Your hideout in the old asteroid mine at Sakharov could uh, be ideal. We're going to a mine. Maybe still one of the clinic's emergency ships if you need a quick escape. I know you don't have much time. The operation's almost over. Thanks for helping uh, see it through. And if I don't get the chance to tell you in person, I'm eternally grateful for your brave service and loyalty to the unit. It's been an honor. Major Hull. It's a good thing she left it here. I mean, it only tells us where she went. Command override mode. Access mainframe installed disruptor. Operation successful. Patient terminal. Please select a task. Rivera, that's her. Remote link. This is her history that she here. Access granted. Staff. No, no, uh, no treatment continues, but issues persist. Prognosis is not optimistic. Patient seems unusually anxious since receiving a recent courier slate. Yep. VIP amenities. As a VIP guest, you'll enjoy, enjoy the very best hospitality we have to offer. Spacious private chambers. Privacy is the priority here in the clinic. Blah, 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 blah. At the clinic, the brightest minds and medicine. Okay. Let's see what the update was. Go to Sarkarov. I'm in pursuit of Mayo Cruz, a technical genius and senior member of the first. She's been staying at the clinic under her alias. All right, we're just going to Sarkarov. VIP doc. Is that the way she escaped? She killed someone on her way out. And somehow turned a turret on against us. Secure wing. Can I go in here now? He used to be an actuary. Now nope. Just one. Gumdrop. We're home. Stop calling me Gumdrop. You keep installing new cool things in your ship. It's like Christmas every day. So, Sakharov is in the Sakharov system. Stars are rearranged. We are here. Okay, so is that where we're going right here? Yeah, Eglin's site. Unless it's not here. No, it's here. I get to navigate through this stuff. Speed it up. Use our thrusters to get out of the way of everything. That's pretty cool. Dad, do you think Solomon Cove would have liked me? Sure. <laughs> Everybody likes you. Don't oh, this is built right into the asteroid. That's pretty cool. He would have liked you. Well, if you listen to your grandpa, Solomon Cole would have given me a good whooping. <laughs> but I think he would have the man I go into. Time to cycle the airlock and move. Bonner save rate data added. I am supposed to be here, right?
Yeah, right there. Let's get to abandoned asteroid mine. Alright, get your guns out, Sammy. We, we don't know what we're gonna find here. Got a button over there. Let's draw that gland above that door. I wonder why. Oh, that might be a suit, a new suit for us. Alright, so that's another airlock, which is not gonna be anything. Yeah, inaccessible. What do we have here? Nothing good. What's that blue stuff? What is this? Looks like crystals. Must be what they're mining here. So Stroud Eklund is mining too? Another door? This is kind of like an airlock situation. Those are cameras. Yeah, I think I'm not. I think I'll see this through. Security office. So, is that alluding that to that she like um, set a bunch of traps or something? I would really like to find some legendaries. I'm hungry for legendaries. Master lock. And you did it. Ah, yo, yeah, you always do it, Sammy. Put your guns on the wall. Space Adept Assassin's Refined Side Star. Space Adept, 30% of damage while in space. Some mods. Oh, epic. Let me look at it. Okay. Staggering Assassin's Refined Kodama's Disassembler. 20% damage against robot staggering. Reflex. Or at least I'm finding something. I right, do some stuff here. That's cool. What's my carry weight? 137 out of 275. I'm doing good. So, a secure access with the switch on the outside busted. We've got upstairs. I wonder what the crystal is. Your guess is as good as mine, Sam. Whoa! All right, that scared me just a little bit. Just a little. Only just a little. So this is the actual mine. I could bust those pins open. I'm gonna go do that. There's bugs! Shard hoppers. What's on them? Structural. Looks like I could mine whatever these crystals are too. Oh, it's cobalt. Alright, uh, back to what I was doing here. Emergency cuttable. Oh, that's the way we're going. I want to see what's over here first, like what's upstairs and everything. And can I go through this door? Alright, looks like just a little... Workshop place. All uh, right, that's if we're here. Stress reduction procedure. Place hands here and bang your head here. That's pretty funny. All right, a whole lot of nothing up here. A couple of digi picks, some cred sticks. Got some way to go down into the mine. Yeah, this Laredo pistol's pretty cool. I like it. So we could jump down that way or go over this way. Alert. I have yeah, robots. This gun is ridiculous. 
Robots are only as friendly and helpful as they're programmed to be. Yep. Got a cutter. So going down that way would have just led this way. They both lead to the same spot. Okay. Would be a hell of a place for a seance. Knock once if you hear us spirits. No? Shut up, Sam. Who's down there? Good shot, Sam. An epic shard hopper. Oh my god. I'm so scared. I'll take an elevator. I'm lazy. Looks like there are stairs too. Looks like the stairs should probably go up that way. Wait, there's more! Okay, instead of taking the elevator down, I'll just take the stairs. How about that? Sounds like a plan, Stan. I don't know why, but I think this would be a hell of a play. It's to me I could work on my sneak. No? That worked out good, didn't it? Alright, I got a couple of uh, sneak, sneak attacks off. Ow. Stupid robots. Oh, we got one more over on this side. Let's take him out. Search. Danger, danger, danger. Okay. Opportunity to get some more sneak attacks. Got a lot of sneak attacks off there. Cool. Alright, but of course we're gonna search up here first. Alright, what are we looking at? What? Oh. I've never seen that model before for this helmet. It'd be something good. It's not anything good. Looking to have. I see a computer. Ew. All right, a couple of digipics here. So does that mean that there's something locked up nearby? Could be. Basically, what is this? Advanced shock troop space helmet. I looted it when I just wanted to pick it up to get a better look at it. Whatever. All right. Uh, this is probably taking control of the robots that I destroyed. Door control interface. No, this opens a locked door, I guess. I tried hacking once. Still have the scar from it. <laughs> That'll learn you. Oh, it was that door. Okay. And I didn't switch around down here. Take the guts. Oh, what's this little... Nothing. Watch your step, Sammy. I said watch your step, Sammy. Level 45, decent level area. Maybe I'll get a level out of it. Let's go back to Laredo. 
Actually, let's go back to sniper rifle. Caution. Sneak attack damage, yes. Danger, danger, danger. Epic shard hopper, no. Alien genetic material, yum. Really gets your blood pump. Yeah, it really does. My blood is pumping. Not lie. Just want to get some sneak attacks on. That's all. Well, that one got away. For now. Got it. I just want to make sure I'm getting credit here. Eight, maybe not. That counted. And I don't know where Sam came from. Never let a carcass go to waste. You can eat it. Make some barbecue. Barbecue bugs. Track your helmets, navigator space suits. Mm, nothing in here, huh? Got some polymer. Guess this is just set decoration. Nothing in here, huh? What's that? Ground crew pack. I guess we're gonna go around over here then. Yep. Okay. I guess I'm gonna hop down. Or I could crawl down this crystal. Let's go and save. This is actually pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Well, JT, you gotta adjust your attitude. Don't know why are you being so sour tonight. I don't know. Maybe I just had a rough day. I'm looking for some critters to shoot. Really close to something. Caution. Almost danger. Is it a tur oh, is it a camera? Yeah, it was the camera, I guess. Well, I got it. Camera's not gonna miss a nobody now. That's the way I came, right? Okay. Nope, didn't want to do that. You know, someone could sneak up behind us and... No, we came down from the crystal. What's over here? Oh, we can go further down. Alright, let's go further down. I almost shot you, Sam. There's something over here in the ground. The bug. Got it. Caution, it's over here. This scrub is coming for me. Got it. We're okay. Everyone can relax. Oh, all this music just for this little guy. Take your nutrients and move on. Uh, I'm not seeing anything down here. There's a dead robot. A pile of rocks. What is this? Lead. I found some lead. Creature pile. I'll take them tissues. Uh, I guess uh, this little crystal bridge is just here, just in case you fell, I guess. Or maybe you're just looking for some lead. So obviously we're going this way. Two doors here. 
That opens that door. Locked door. I think I found me some contraband. Harvested organs. Oh, weapons on the wall. Calibrate of Varum Star Shard. Particle beam pistol. Neat. Let's look at that pistol. Damn, this thing is a lot of damage. For just a little base little pistol here. I got better for now. Like my dead eye is better. I wonder what mods you could put on that thing. I'm not gonna mod out just plain weapons though. I'm just gonna mod just um yeah, you know, stuff with the really good stats. Caution. Why, is something looking at me? No. Alright, we gotta drop off here, Sam. Be careful. Watch those ankles. I like caves? I like caves. Yeah, I like I caves. caves. Alright, got that one. Kablooey. That kind of looks like a contraband case. But it is not. Benzene and some other stuff. I don't know why I like contraband so much. It's not like I, I need money. It's like the idea of it. Want to see where my sneak attacks are? Hmm. Only got 10 out of 40 right now. But that'd be it. My final level of stealth. That'd be cool. Hmm. I want to go this way. Weapon cases. What do we got here? Refined Kodima. A lot of just loose weapons all over the place. My carry weight is 166 out of 275. Got an elevator, and I guess it's going... I don't know which way it's going. Is it going up or down? It's going down. And that's where this path would allow to over here. I'm not taking the elevator. It feels like a trap. I'd rather take the stairs. Can I see anything down there to shoot? Nope. Okay. Walkway all of a sudden broke away. Good thing I got jetpacks. Here, robot. Oh, that's because I broke out of stealth when I jumped. They're all over the place. Alright, let's go. Break out the big guns here. What the hell is that? It's a badass weapon. That's what that is. Oh, those are turrets. Not good. Damn. Alright, this is getting hairy. Maybe I should have taken the elevator. It's a secure door. Gotta keep moving. Stand still for too long or those turrets will get me. Okay. Trying to assess the situation. Maybe I have something to do with that. Another robot. Keep moving. Gotta let those health packs kick in. Pick up the robot that's down here. All systems. 
Can I hurt these things? Yes, I can. Oh, we're gonna go up here. And of course I gotta reload. Of course I gotta reload. And I still haven't reloaded. What the hell? Why do it's okay? Mm. I watched myself reload three times. Three times I watched. And you automatically exit out of stealth mode when you jump. So maybe it'd be better to take the stupid elevator. I'm so annoyed, man. I'm just annoyed. At least on the elevator, I can stay stealth. Caution. Oh, well, we've been made. So much for that. That robot's not joking around, that hurts. Last time I ran around with my head cut off like a chicken, that didn't really help me very much. Working my way up here. Alright, let's limit how many guns can aim at me. Turret right there. Take this one out. Good thing it's not shooting at me. I wonder what the right way would have been to get through this situation. Another turret over here, take this one out. It's also cooking me alive. Good thing I got a health packs for days. Good thing I have over 2,000 rounds. That's uranium rounds, Mr. Rubit. Quite the gauntlet getting up here. All right, lady, I took out all your defenses. Just about. So many robots in this area. There's Maya Cruz. That's an interesting gun she got. It's like a rocket launcher or something. Did she do her own spl splash damage? I got grenades, lady. You in trouble? Let me use my power. 
There we go. Shoot her in the head. We're... What, we're just talking now? Well, what are you waiting for? Finish it. Well, I was trying to, but you wouldn't die. I'm not here to kill you. You seem pretty eager to die. Why is the first seizing farmland? Because the... That's what we were hired to do. By who? The pay was good, too. But the best part was getting to stick it to the people who turned their backs on us. Turn their backs on you, huh? So this is about revenge, huh? Of course it is! We spent 20 years behind bars because our leaders got scared and called off our attack just when we had the battle won. And did the people of the Free Star Collective that we fought and died for come to our defense? No! They did nothing. NOTHING! Ah. You should calm down. I don't think your spleen can handle it. Well, now they can die. Just like most of our unit did. It doesn't make sense for them to be abandoned like that. If they were following orders, they wouldn't have been charged. It's not like it was an unlawful order. Everything was called off unless everything was called off and they proceeded to attack. Kind of like they this or something. I don't know. Well, who hired the first and why? <laughs> I can't wait until you find out. So tell me. Back to the business at hand. Fine. I ain't feeling conversational anyway. Do I get to arrest anyone? I mean, I'm a cop, right? At some point, I'd like to arrest someone, not just kill them. All right, the first must have a base. Where is it? Yeah. We've got a base. A good one, too. You're going to tell me? I spent months of my life getting that place up and running. Are you the boss? As for where it is, <laughs> you're going to have to figure that out on your own. I could shoot you in the kneecap. Alright, I'm not here to kill you. You might not think so now, but it's likely to end up that way. It sounds like she wants to die. <sighs> How about I make this real simple for us both? Alright. I've got maybe a few weeks to live and oh. I'm spending them behind bars. She's terminal. You want to put an end to me here and now? Then fine. Get it over with. Life's kicked me around enough as it is. But if you want to let me die on my own terms. Then leave me in peace. Yeah, this doesn't make any sense. If you want to die on your own terms, then why'd you stop fighting? Why'd you just fight to the death? I'm not leaving until I get some information about the first. How has life kicked you around? You want to open your heart to me? You would have confided in me? I'm not leaving until I get some information. Well, how about a test? All right. Rangers are known to be handy with a gun. <laughs> but here's a problem you'll have to solve with your brain instead. I've encrypted this slate. If you can crack it, you'll learn something useful. Now get out of here and leave me in peace. So I guess I'm just gonna take this, yeah, take it the Shadid. All right, I've been, I went through a lot of trouble to get here, lady, so I'm just gonna take whatever I want. Oh, that must be the express way out. No signal. That probably would have turned off all the defenses on me, right? Oh, she's going to bed. Guess she had a long day. Well, I took your lunch money now. I was kind of hoping I could open this door. Maybe if I follow this red cable, it'll lead me to like another switch to open that door. Oh, just takes me to this other secure access door I can't get into. Allegedly. Well, that's certainly interesting. Daryl's telling me to go through this door that I can go through. Let's go back upstairs and take her elevator. Oh, yeah. You had to go through the elevator to open that door. That explains what that secure door was. Our right, weapons out. Don't know what we're gonna face. This is a pretty cool location, though. I do like the looks of it. Everything's fried, though, man. This is nuts. Looks like things are going our way. Okay. Got a pack. It's got chameleon on it. And it's got really good base stats. I'm gonna take it. That looks to be another elevator. Looks like crew quarters. Well, storage and crew quarters. They've been lifting weights. A little lockbox. That's not locked. 
That's new. Medicine, did you pick? Is that a slate? No, nope. just a book. Alright, I guess that's it for us, Sammy. And we're back. What a lot of robots here. Give the encrypted slate to Shadid. Alright, back to Achilles. All right, I got another one for you. Too much time at my terminal. He's probably right. Hey there, deputy. Way I hear it, you've been. How do you like the job? So. Yeah, it feels good to be out there making a difference. I'm not sure if it's me. It doesn't matter. All I care about is bringing down the first. That feels good. That's good to hear. So, what brings you by? Well, first, did you decrypt the other slate, and can you decrypt this slate? How's your progress on the on cracking the first encryption? It's going well so far. I think I'm close to a breakthrough. With enough data, I'll be able to tell you everything they're up to. All right, well, got another one for you. Well, well, what do we have here? Well, this is new. I just got it, so... Hmm. Very interesting indeed. I'll see what I can do. If you can get me another one of these, it'll give me more context for the encryption and should speed things up. In the meantime, you be careful out there, deputy. From what I've heard, these mercs mean business. All right, 11,000, a little bit more experience. Pretty good. Well, uh, I guess we're gonna do on the run, go to the Red Mile. I'm tracking uh, Marco Got, uh, Graziani, head of smuggling cartel and senior member of the first. Talk to Otto Macamillan. Is it telling me to go back on the ship? It's because I'm not tracking it, that's why. There we go. That's a bit better. I guess I didn't look over the red mile, did I? Who's this guy? Can't believe they brought up our guy just for one to take Okay, that's our target right there. Hey. And this bartender is the merchant that you sell everything you to on drink? the Red Mile here. Maybe a room? Oh, thank you for Enjoy taking my yourself. crap. And uh Ballistic weapon specialist, huh? Any vacancies on your I'm good. I guess you should look around here, see if there's anybody worth recruiting later on when I can expand my crew. Hey, Autumn. Not in the mood. Wait a minute. Judging by the wide-eyed and clueless look on your face, I'm guessing you're the new deputy. Wide-eyed? I'm neither wide-eyed nor clueless. We'll find out, won't we? I guess so. Well, your timing couldn't be worse. I've spent weeks trying to crack this smuggling ring, and I'm about to take a very important meeting. Okay, sorry to bother you, but I've got a job to do. Don't worry about me, I can handle myself. Loose attitude, we're working together and that's that. At least you've got a little backbone. Mm-hmm. I don't have time to catch you up, so you're gonna have to follow my lead. Fine. I'm about to meet with a contact who might be able to give me vital information about the smuggling ring. If you play your cards right and don't do anything stupid, she might be able to help you find Marco. If you're ready, my contact is here and waiting. All right, let's go meet your contact then. Follow me. Anytime, lady. Like a puppy looking for a place to lie down on the ground. That's really simple out there on the red mile. Whoa, look at all these cred sticks. Always worked for me. Is that Donovan Reese? Guy's yeah, a legend. Well, He's run the mile more than anyone alive. Take a seat. Thanks, Sam. I couldn't hear what they were saying. So you're working with Autumn, huh? Who are you? I am Boda. None of your business. I'm good friends of Autumn. She was thrilled to see me. Wait, Autumn has friends. There's that Marvel like dialogue. How? The deputy here is interested in meeting Marco to talk about that mercenary company he's been funding. Since part of that money is coming from his smuggling operation, we're working together. 
So you're investigating the first? Why? Why do you care? <laughs> What's well, a ranger's duty to protect the people and they're a threat? Every hunter needs prey. That's ranger business. Trying to take land from farmers, I don't want to know why. Mm, seems like a strange thing for a mercenary company to be doing. I guess an introduction is in order. Like Marco, Jade here is the head of a small smuggling cartel. Difference is her crew stays out of Freestar Collective space, while Marco's group operates exclusively within it. Except now he's looking to expand his operation. And he started moving in on my territory. Alright, well help me find him and bring him to justice then. Well tell me where he is so I can take that bastard out. Why do you stay out of Freestar? Don't care. It'd be a shame if Marco put you out of business, wouldn't it? I, no. Who cares, Boda? Who, who, who bloody... Just tell me where he is, I'll take the bastard out. <laughs> now you're talking. Look, the bad news is, Marco's incredibly paranoid. He never stays in one place for long. The good news is, I know how to find him. But you're not gonna tell us yet, because you want something. I want the same thing you do. I want Marco out of the picture. Oh, well, you know what to do then. But like I said, getting a meeting with him can be damn near impossible. One of the few people who can arrange such a meeting is right here at Red Mile. May Divine. We've suspected for some time that Red Mile was a meeting place for smugglers. If she's in business with Marco, she won't give him up easily. Okay. Well, there must be something she wants that I can trade for. I could be very persuasive, that's true. What do you know about Maid Divine? She's the owner and manager here. Inherited the place when her husband was killed. Okay. And what do you think we should do? May's the key to this whole thing, but I don't know her. Maybe try to get on her good side? Guess I could try to seduce her if that's what you want me to do. Well, I could be very persuasive. Yeah, well, so can she. I can tell you right now what she's gonna want, because it's the same thing she always wants. She wants runners. It's how she makes most of her money. Of course, people that hard-blooded aren't easy to find. Runners? Yeah. Like smugglers? Well, I'm not going out on the mile. That's a death sentence. There has to be another way. You've been a ranger long enough that too many people know your face and your name. Runners attract a lot of attention. If someone recognizes you and tips off May, this whole thing is shot. You, on the other hand, are just a deputy. It's pretty unlikely that a lot of people know you. I think a lot of people know me. <laughs> you don't have to do this. We'll find another way to get to Marco. No, what the hell is the mile and what's a runner? I, I want to know. There's no need. I need I need to know what the first is planning. All of a sudden, this is extremely urgent, but hell, I'm up for it. Yeah, I am. What's a runner? Someone who volunteers to run the Red Mile, a deadly stretch of terrain just outside the cantina. It's infested with hostile creatures, and few people survive. The ones that do earn a reputation. That sounds cool as hell, man. I'm up for it. I hope that's not false bravado, deputy, because this is life and death we're talking my about. My life, my death, lady. Planned this out real good, didn't you, Jade? The Freestar Rangers do the dirty work. You get rid of a rival. Don't forget the part where the Freestar Rangers get to bring down a big-time criminal while your deputy friend here gets intel on the first. And have some fun in the process, hopefully. Seems to me like we're all getting something we want, thanks to my good planning. If it's really as simple as asking May Divine for a meeting with Marco, then I guess that's all you need to do. Alright. We'll wait here for you. Try not to die. Will you? I won't die. You're really going to take on the mile, huh? Yep. I don't know about you. I doubt anything. But a fella can do a you. lot worse than consolation. Shut up, Sam. Oof, you're either brave as hell, or you've got a death wish. Guess we're talking to May, huh? She in the kitchen? I hope you're enjoying your visit. Think you've got a chance in the Red Mile? Talk to me. Donovan Ray's. This place is the to be the real guy, but things are looking up. This guy says about the Red Mile. Lesson. I don't mean to be rude, but I'm trying to relax and you people won't give me a moment's peace. You talk to me first. I tell you what, if you want a conversation with me, it'll cost you. Bring me a runner's rush from the bar and then we can talk. Deal? You better have something interesting to say, man. I've got one right here for you, do I? Do you now? How about you stop pulling my plonker and come back when you've got what I've asked for? Really turn this place around. It's weird that um I had that option to say. Happy to serve you. I'll keep pouring. Is that a red plonker? Oh, runner's rush is what he asked for. How 
Come and see me if you need anything else. Ah, here again. I got it right here. Ah, most kind. So, what brings you by? I'm afraid I'm right out of autographed pictures. Are you some kind of celebrity? Well, you really haven't been around much, have you? Not around here. I'm Donovan Reese. I, the Donovan Reese. As in the gent that survived 28 red mile runs, including the third fastest on record. Is it a race? What is this thing? Any tips for a new red mile runner? <laughs> don't go breaking my record for one. So it's that easy? Other than that, don't hesitate. Ever. You hesitate. You spend too much time thinking things through. That's how you get yourself killed. Out so I just kill everything? I always say the best way to run the course is on pure instinct. You let that take over and drive you, chances are you'll win. Unless you already know your instincts are shite, in which case, don't run the course at all. Alright, 28 runs, is that an impressive number? Impressive? <laughs> That's an understatement. We're talking a game of death and dismemberment. Most people don't survive one, let alone as many as I have. You can count on one hand the number of runners ever to pull that off. Only half of them are still alive. So it's dangerous, that's all I know about it. How would you actually tell me what it is? What is the Red Mile? What is this runner stuff? Nah, just relish a challenge. I'd still be out there today if my knees and my back won't shot to hell. Besides, I'm retired these days. I think I've earned the chance to enjoy the fruits of my labors. Being famous has its benefits. Don't ask about the benefits, but uh, don't ask about the benefit. Thank you, but uh. Cheers. Red sticks. I took this job so I could be here to see all the runners in person. Of course, most of them. I only see if we look out the window, will we see what the runners are? Okay, so we got one potential follower here. Thinking of running sometime? Talk to Maine. Sure will. In front of neon, plus betting on whether people are going to survive. Yeah, these people are total winners. I was wondering, is it a race? Okay, we got a ballistics weapon specialist. Another patron. What are you doing in this office, lady? I can't believe Donovan Reese is actually here in this bar. Who bloody cares? That's who we're talking to. Who's this guy? Look, a karaoke stage. So that's the Red Mile, whatever this is. I am curious about this. Where'd you go? Now, oh, hey! Ah, a new face. I wonder, is this the face of a brave runner here to challenge the Red Mile? Or simply one seeking a respite from the burdens of life? My name is May, and I'm the proprietor of this establishment, home of the famous Red Mile. I assume you're familiar. I am not. It seems like no one wants to tell me, man. All right, here we go. Red Mile. Never heard of it. Never heard of it? Nope. I thought it was just a store. <laughs> I wouldn't even ask how that's possible. <laughs> You're in for a treat, then. The Red Mile is the settled system's most exciting sporting event. Brave contestants from all corners of the galaxy come here to try their luck in a deadly race to the finish. It's a, it's a race? Is it a foot race? Is it like the Hunger Games? Sounds like the Hunger Games. <laughs> I'm happy to answer any other questions you might have. In the meantime, please enjoy our world's famous hospitality. Okay, I'm looking for Marco. I understand you're too acquainted. What's involved in running the Red Mile? Well, it's quite simple, really. Once you register with me, we'll have a little pomp and circumstance before sending you on your way out the big red door. Then it's a race to the buzzer at the other end of the course. You'll deal with obstacles and deadly creatures alike, while people up here place bets on how far you'll get. Make it back alive, and you'll stand to win riches and the admiration of your fans. I'm sure you can figure out what happens if you fail. So what's to stop me from just boost pass packing past everything and just getting to the end? It looks like it's outdoors. Yeah, that's a stupid question. Pop a circumstance like a ceremony? Yeah, Boda. Thanks for the information. Of course. And if you're thinking of running, just let me know. I'll be glad to sign you up. Okay, I could just ask about this. 
I don't... Yeah, I want to know about this place. A rather open-ended question, but I'll do my best. No, it's a very specific question. Red Mile was once a notorious haven for the criminal underworld. Thieves, shipjackers, mercenaries, and smugglers would come here. That guy's sniffing your hair. I thought you should know. A gamble. I cleaned the place up when I took over. I made it, if not quite a family destination, at least a safer one. Red Mile still offers a unique, exciting experience, but our clientele has improved considerably, and we offer a wider range of services. Okay. Don't care how you cleaned it up. Wild effort to don't care. Look for Marco Graziani. I understand you two are acquainted. That is true. But Mr. Graziani values his privacy. What is your business with him? Exactly. I want to work for him. Private matter. It's funding a mercenary company that's threatening farmers. Not want to work for him. It's no small favor that you're asking. But yes. Yeah, that guy's really into her hair. Reading. It's been too long since we've had proper entertainment. If you're willing to buy it, I'll give you more. Are you prepared to run the Red Mile? We should just. What the hell is this guy doing? Is he like dry humping her leg like a chihuahua? If that's what it takes, I'll do it. Fine, but you better keep your end of the bargain. Same answer, basically. Is there some other way? Don't care. Run the rip. Keep up, Buddha. Come on, pal. If that's what it takes, I'll do it. Good. Once you've begun, I'll collect bets from my patrons who will place wagers on your survival. I don't want to sound mean or anything, but I feel like Bethesda skimped out on like the writing budget. It's like they didn't want to pay real money for some good writers. Cause I, this is starting to irritate me now. It's getting to the point where just dialogue option, uh, options are irritating me. Uh, I'll definitely be coming back alive. <laughs> That's barbaric. Can I bet on myself? That's a good question. I'm afraid. Ah. Not. But I'm sure your confidence will inspire our patrons to play substantial wagers on your survival. Your hair must smell, smell amazing because you're attracting people like flies. It's crazy, man. I'll definitely be coming back alive. That's what every runner says. I wish I shared your optimism. The mile's very real. Now that we're clear on what's expected of you, are you ready to begin? <laughs> it really does look like they're sniffing her hair, doesn't it? And dry humping her. Oh, I'm ready. Good. Come with me and I'll introduce you. May runs a tidy establishment. Let's keep it up. Whatever. Your attention, please. Valued patrons and honored guests. For one brave soul, the hour of pigs. Yes! A runner has come to test the Red Mile! Now is your chance to get a good look at our fearless challenger as you contemplate your wages. Do you see the fire in those eyes? What is that if not skill and determination? I think you'll agree that we're in for quite a show. The rules are simple. Go through the door and take the elevator down to where the mile begins. Activate the beacon at the base of the tower to see the distance. Once you've done so, return to your alive and your run will be complete. Go now, brother, and see if you can survive the mile. I don't think anybody cares, May. <laughs> so uh, the beacon is just it's, uh, that over there, huh? It's like open terrain. I probably could rush through all of this, but... I don't want to do that. So, the people that's placing bets, they don't know anything about me. They don't know if I have any injuries. They don't know if I have any combat experience. So, how would you even make odds? I mean, since you're placing bets, there's winners and losers. So, like, how are you going to set the odds when you don't know anything about me? Last chance. Okay, so last minute weapon upgrades and stuff. Guess Sam's going to hang back. What should I use out here? Okay. We're doing this? I can't believe we're doing this. Let's, uh... 
You don't have junkies, I guess. You don't have to come with me if you don't want to. Another elevator. So it's gonna be like terror morphs? What's gonna be out here? Traps. It got really dark all of a sudden. Oh no, it's a mauler! That guy is pretty tanky. And gaseous. Angelesic pigment. I guess that's roughly a mile. Ship's coming out of the sky too. Yeah, if I wanted to, I could rush this. I could fly over everything probably, but I'm not. Let's take this seriously. This music playing and everything. Wait a minute. Sniping opportunity. Oh, he flew. Get it, Sam. Who? Got some more. See three more off in the distance. It was one that snuck up on us. What do I need Angelisics for? Lithium! And you can scan plants and stuff out here too. So run through the terrain and get to the thing. So far so good. It's all scan stuff on the way. Structural. Oh, wait a minute. There's a monster over here. I see a dead body. Who is this poor unfortunate soul? Watch out, there's a monster over here. In the booty. I try to run. There's one right there. That's 20. <laughs> I should begin a bunch of free exp uh, sneak attacks here, man. Got another dead body over here. Credits. So where's this monster? Oh, he was hiding. He's dead. A kraken. So far, this is uh, pretty much a nothing. What do they call it? A nothing burger? I'm just so powerful, man. Are these the, are these the only challenges? These guys? For level 6, man, they are pretty tanky. There's a hab or something over here. That tells me we gotta go through it to get up there. I could probably jump up there. Hold up. Wait a minute. And there you are. Hold up, Sam. Hold up. I guess they're just running. Here we go. That one's dead. That's 
It's really dark, can't see nothing. Oh, he's on just on the other side here. Back up. Oh, he can't see nothing. Kablooey. More dead people. Almost there, Sammy. I faced more dangerous stuff than just random planet hopping. And the factories keep churning. They're reliable that way. I guess so. What's all this? I don't trust that bridge. Hmm. The stealth get that much better to where I could practically walk up on them. They don't realize I'm here. I don't have max stealth yet. I did it! Woo! Next, do I have any perks? Nope. But yeah, I'll have maxed out perks. Um, Maxed out. So, stealth. So the AOE from my weapon spreads to Sam too. Well, get away from it, damn! You want to do the honor, Sam? You can press the button if you want. I don't care. There's a slate. I'll show him. In just a few days, I'm gonna be filthy rich. Aw oh, man, the look on my friends' faces when I told them I'd be running the Red Mile was priceless. They kept saying, are you stupid? You're gonna get yourself killed, or this is a terrible idea. I couldn't stop laughing. I mean, yeah, I don't think any of them would survive the course. They're too doughy, too s slow, and can't shoot to save their lives, but me? I'm different. I can run 14 minute mile without breaking- 14 minute mile without breaking a sweat. I've even gone capping more times than I can count. They're just too embarrassed to admit that I've got what it takes, but they don't and never will. It's actually kind of insulting that they think I won't survive, but I'll show them. And then when I'm done gloating, I'll do it again, all again. That guy was uh, bragging that he did this like 27 times. I could do more than that in less than an hour. I guess there's more than one way to get up here, huh? I wonder if there's anything of value out in out out in this area. Can you set up an outpost up here? That'd be pretty funny. All right, all right, Sam. If you don't want to do it, I'll do it. I guess. Grunt issue. This guy's a magazine on him. You can get magazines off of people. Ballistic weapons permanently do an additional five percent damage. All right. Uh, maybe I could actually read it. Like nothing happened when I looted it. What if I drop it and, like, pick it up? Grunt issue. Yeah, I had to drop it on the ground and pick it up to get the uh, bonus. Bonus? Oh, there's stuff here. What is this? It's a helmet with technician. 15% less damage against robots. I don't care about that. Guess I'll take the gold, though. Eh. Are there crates or anything down there? Oh, they saw me. Another guy here. Guess we're done here. I'll press the button now, Sam. Magic button. So do I gotta run back? Yep. Cool, we get to kill more stuff. Or I could just fly all the way there. These guys are really low level. 
not like I'm getting a lot of experience for this. Yeah, I'm only getting six experience for all this. Ah, screw these monsters. Let's just go. Alright, Sam, we're flying. Keep up. Get more money from just scanning stuff and selling it to Vlad, man. Oh, there's plants out here I haven't seen, though. I'm on the uh, lookout for adhesive. Terror roots. Fiber. I'm not waiting for you, Sam. Dead spacer. Oh dear, oh my, what the hell? Oh, this guy right here. Just keep moving. Oh, there are a lot more monsters out here. I thought they were already dead. Yeah, this is not a good gun against those guys. Shotgun is pretty good. Which way did he go, George? Poor Sammy. I never found out whatever happened to Sam. One moment he was following me on my six, the next it was just giblets to the Red Mile Monsters. All right then. So what's the prize money? The guy was talking about he'd be rich if he completed it. I'm just assuming Sam will catch up eventually. I'm back. Give me my money. Congratulations, runner. You have succeeded where most have failed. In fact, you seem well. none the worse for wear. Yeah, pretty standard monster slaughter. Oh. I did what you asked for. Now it's your turn. It was a cakewalk. Absolutely. I'm not easily impressed. But you've managed to surprise me. As promised, I'll set up your meeting with Marco. I'll dispatch a courier to let him know you're coming. Please take a moment to relax and enjoy our hospitality. I'll return shortly. Right then, talk to Adam Macmillan. Yeah. You better stop messing with my unit, or there are gonna be consequences. Oh. You mean consequences like how you and your bloody weekend warriors are driving all the business out of Red Mile? Thanks to you, I'm barely able to fulfill my very lucrative contracts. You'd rather go back to the days when this place was raided and plundered on a regular basis. Sure. The occasional pirate raid would set the spark of it. Then the pirates would leave and the guests would return. If it were up to me, I'd fire the lot of you right now. Take my chances with the pirates. Well, it's not up to you, is it? Meanwhile, here's some free advice. Next time you get drunk, Try picking a fight with someone who isn't carrying a firearm. I can only hold my subordinates back for so long before they finally get tired of your BS. Get the hell out of my face, you pretentious wanker. I'm already bored with this conversation. <laughs> it's a good thing you're so funny, Reese. It's the only thing keeping me from kicking your ass. I hear you're one of the runners to watch. Okay, let's talk to him, see if uh, he has anything to say. I keep thinking the next runner will live up to my legacy. Hmm, <laughs> doesn't even acknowledge right, it. Right, All right. If you're looking to register, you'll need to speak to Ms. Divine. You, you made it. Tougher than you look. I am. You're back. Are you okay? I'm fine. Got some guts on me. Better than ever. It was fun. 
And here I was feeling like a nervous wreck the whole time. <laughs> Guess I had nothing to worry about. Oh, you were worried. Anyway, I'm relieved you made it through okay. Why? Afraid you'd lose all that work you put into your smuggling investigation? I wouldn't expect you to understand. All you see in people is what you can get from them. I'm glad, because that was an incredibly brave thing you did. And we need rangers with that kind of courage. Also, I... I owe you an apology. I was pretty awful to you at first. I'm sorry about that. Don't worry about it. You're right. Let's focus on the job. Once you're on your way, I'll return to the rock and let the marshal know what's going on. Come home safe, deputy. That's an order. Yes, ma'am. Always were the soft one, little sister. Oh, go to hell. Or at least make yourself useful and get us some drinks. Is that supposed to be like a surprise revelation to their sisters? Or is she just calling her sister? Talk to May Divine. I guess it's time. Erk. Don't see a lot of people survive. Guess she's over here. Whoop. I had a feeling about you. Alright, lady, what's up? Time for me to keep my promise, runner? You can find Marco on Kodos aboard his ship. Okay. I'd advise you not to keep him waiting. He is not exactly patient. I take his ship. Then I'll be heading to Kodos, neither am I. What else can you tell me about him? He's intelligent, well connected, and utterly ruthless. He's also a man of taste who appreciates the finer things. You'll find out soon enough what I mean. Okay, what did your message say about I don't care. Then I'll be heading to Fort Kodos. Good. Travel safely, runner. I will. Did you ever crave the challenge of the mile again? It will be here, waiting for you. Wait a minute, did I get money? Did she... Did I win something? I did complete the mile. Hmm. Oops. Gotta make sure I'm out of sight. I'm out of sight. I guess I'm sick of something. May's computer. Recent contract renewals. Making good choice keeping us under contract, May. Even if they uh, could break their jurisdiction, Freestar Rangers wouldn't keep you half as safe as we can. Alright. I'm not a doctor. May, you gotta stop sending your injured runners my way. Successful extraction. Your tip was most appreciated. Our track was able to find Mr. Whiting at your establishment. Extract him without causing a scene. Your, your patrons were none the wiser. Quarterly report. I'll drop by sometime with a full, full report. Fire in the kitchen. First, let me say sorry, May. It was a real slow night. No orders were coming in. Nothing of interest, really. Finding the good stuff on there. I'm thinking, like, maybe we could have. for a quick chat. I'd appreciate it when you're able. Yeah, sure. I was thinking maybe we'd find out where uh, what's his face was on a computer, but I guess not. Man, the galaxy's too big to be stuck in the same place. Yeah, sorry if I'm a little out of it. Didn't get much sleep last night. Lillian and me, well, I tried talking with her, and I lost my cool. Got a little heated. <sighs> I know I woke Cora up. Okay, well, I'm on a small ship, everyone hears everything. I hope Cora didn't hear I'm busy right now. How does Cora feel about this? Well, up until a few years ago, she kept hoping we'd get back together. I mean, Lillian and I stayed married longer than we should have for Cora's sake. But we really weren't doing Cora any favors there. Alright, well, I hope Cora didn't hear anything. No, no, I'm careful about that. I mean, I try and not put down Lillian with an earshot. Which... Well, isn't that hard, really? Ah, Lillian. She's an incredible woman. Truly. But it is always, and I mean always, about the job. And when she bleeds, free star colors spill out. And back when I was a ranger, we were quite the team. Alright, well, there must be a story behind you. Stop. Why are you stop being a ranger? Yeah, I'm meant to be on my own. Exploring the great beyond. It calls to me. Maybe it's Solomon saying hello. Maybe. But one day, I was just done. No particular reason. It had been building for a long time. See, so I tried to convince Lillian to leave it behind, come with me. She shot me down. Hard. Hurt my pride. More than a little. But she was probably right. Just like that, you just didn't feel like being a freestyle ranger anymore. Yeah, that's not very good. Yeah, that's not very compelling as a as a guy playing a video game. 
Well, if you were that unhappy, you did the right thing. Feel bad for Kura. Yeah, I guess if you were unhappy, you gotta chase you. You gotta fall that bliss, right? Eh, we were making each other miserable. And that war on poor Cora, too. It's funny, our latest argument started because Lillian thinks I'm putting Cora in too much danger traveling with you. Well, she's right. I told her what you told me. That Cora is just blossoming with all this. Yeah. With Sarah, you, heck, even Walter. I just know Cora has futures I could never dream of. But Lillian, not so much a fan of you. That kind of set me off. Why? Why do you care what she thinks about me? If I met Lillian, I have a feeling I wouldn't like her. Separation sounds like so much fun. Why did you even get together with Lillian in the first place? I don't care. Yeah, if I met her, I probably wouldn't like her. Well, you are getting one very biased half of it. I'm sure her friends feel the same about me. So? And Lillian loves that girl fierce. But Cora's been stood up a time or two by Lillian. Always for the best reasons. Last time I think Lillian got a medal for it. But at a certain point, Lillian's excuses don't matter. Poor Cora cried for a week. I don't want to put her through that again. Okay, you knew you do understand the responsibilities of Free Star Ranger, right? You're not pulling that crap about you're never home. You're never home enough. Your job's more important than your family, kind of crap. You, you were a Free Star Ranger. You know what that entails. I tell Lillian that. Give her a chance, but make her understand she has fault. No, Lillian's part of her life is not helped. Yeah, but it's none of- oh, this is so stupid. This is dumb. I don't like this. Well, let's just say I think Cora's better off with us. That's what I think, too. And for now, Lillian's going straight to voicemail. So everyone can sleep easy. <laughs> I'm almost at the point of sending uh, Todd Howard an angry tweet. That'll show him. Just annoyed with the writing in this game. Like the whole UC Vanguard thing was really cool when that what did it ultimately lead to? I mean you got a penthouse and like an armor set, but it turned like some really cool characters into uh, mission boards. See security helmet that actually looks pretty cool from what I could tell. Woo! There's my Doris! I missed you girl. Yeah, so we're gonna board someone's ship. Maybe I can steal it. <laughs> Didn't even bother with my injuries, man. But my spring is cured! Oh, it's a crimson fleet coming for me. Oh no, what, what, uh, whatever shall I do? Yeah, I just vaporized him. One lowly, lo one low level little bastard coming after me. That was pretty funny. That was great. Alright, where am I going? Alright, we're going to Parima Third, Fortuna. I thought this was an orbit. Why is it telling me to land? So I guess we're gonna land to get on this guy's ship. Oh, that's some pretty colors. Well, this guy picked a scenic spot, I guess. Wow, that's, yeah, that's a pretty cool looking planet. I wonder why he did decide to do this here and not in orbit. Hmm, what kind of ship is this? I see some cargo containers on this side here. Fortuna! Fortuna Major. I don't know. Hello? Anybody home? Confront Marco. This ship is nice. You the runner. The boss is in the back. Marco's done well for himself. One might say too well. I'll say. I mean, I would say that at least. Why does he have Digipix on display? Is this a store? This 
music is gonna put me to sleep. You and me, bro, both brother. This doesn't feel like a military complex. You're lucky to get a meeting with Clark. This place is way bigger than it looked than the, from, the, from the outside. Why don't we have a room like this? Just full of knock-your-socks-off trophies. You know, really flaunt our success. I would like that, actually. I want a trophy room. I got, like, snow globes and stuff. <laughs> ah, the dulcet tones of classical piano. Hmm. Welcome. May's message didn't exactly make it clear why you wanted to meet with me. If you're looking for work, my organization is always in need of pilots and security personnel. Willing to take risks. Why does he want a farm? I've got some questions about the first. I'm not here to work for you, I'm here to stop you. The organization? Jeez, but I was he talking about? I don't know. I've got some questions about the first. Ah. I see. You did well to find me. I'm not an easy man to locate. Though I suppose we haven't exactly been keeping a low profile lately. Given the nature of the contract, the degree of exposure was always a risk, but a calculated one. To be honest, I think the Major is all but spoiling for a confrontation with the Rangers. Still, I confess, I'm a little disappointed that the Marshal sent a deputy instead of a full-fledged Ranger. This deputy might just surprise you, Marco. And who might you be? The name's Sam Coe. A name well known across the Freestar Collective. It's an honor to welcome a descendant of the great Solomon Co. Yeah, well, that name probably means more to you than it does to me. Your deputy friend here could have a bright future. Assuming we all keep our heads. Alright, so don't get pissed off. Oh, details of the first operation, including who hired you. I'm gonna bring down the first. You mentioned a major. Is that who runs the first? That's right. Major Hall spent 20 years in lockup nursing a grudge against the Freestar Collective. We all did. A lot of good men and women died for nothing because of those cowards you work for. You've chosen your side, and I've chosen mine. Still don't know why they were abandoned. Okay, so why would he want a confrontation? Obviously he's pissed, but he wants like a war? He wants a straight up like battle with the Freestar Rangers? To settle accounts. Major Hall served with distinction during the Colony War. But the leaders of the Free Star Collective, they turn on him. That's the part that baffles me. In his me. eyes, the Rangers are enforcers for a corrupt council of governors. That makes you his enemy. As for me, I didn't see any profit in nursing that grudge. I prefer to focus on the future. Okay. Yeah, why would I say this? Why? I want details of the first operation clue. Who hired you? <laughs> I'm not sure you are grasping the situation here, deputy. You are on my ship, outnumbered by my guards, who kill you without hesitation. I'm a businessman. If you expect me to cooperate, I'm going to want something in return. I won't tell you everything. I do still have some loyalty to my unit. However, I can point you in the right direction. In exchange, I want the Rangers to let me operate with a free hand. So what kind of operation do you have to where you gotta worry about the Free Star uh, Rangers getting in your way? It works for me. No deals. Tell me what I want to know or face the consequences. Attack him. If I thought there was even the remotest chance that I could steal the ship, I would attack him. But I know I, I wouldn't. It does, I doubt it. I highly doubt it. This would be all over YouTube. Alright, that works for me. Good. Then we are agreed. I won't pretend that I agree with this, but it's your call. Shut up, Sam. It'd be a shame if an encrypted slate like this one somehow got into the wrong hands. Wouldn't it? Now, before you complain, remember that all I promised was to point you in the right direction. You're free to stay as long as you like. It's not often I get to entertain such a distinguished guest. Hi, good to see you. I give the encrypted slate to Shadid. Alright guys, I'm going to end the episode here, but I am going to look around on loot in between episodes because it seems like a pretty interesting place. If I find anything interesting, I'll let you know. 
what I found at the beginning of the next episode. So thank you for coming by. Sorry that I'm being so sour, so grumpy this episode. It's just one of those days. You know how it is. But I do appreciate your support, and I hope that you have a great day. And I hope to see you in the next episode.